Really simple. One cup of cocoa powder, uh, one and a half cups of sugar, an eighth teaspoon of salt, and one and one fourth cup of boiling water. You put it all in the pan, you let it come together, and you boil it uh, very slowly, very softly for five minutes. It will thicken up, and then I just pour it into a, a, a clean mason jar, let it cool, and it's ready to go. I can pour this in my coffee, which is my favorite. I love to make ice mochas in the afternoon when I get a little tired. And also, it's great on ice cream. You can make hot chocolate with it. You can make chocolate milk with it. My kids cannot tell the difference, which is really a good thing when you've got kids that are used to something they've been eating at the store, and then you try to make it from scratch. Sometimes they notice, but they don't notice here. It's just really good. They love the flavor. And... Um, it's just, you know, it's better for us. You see me peeking over at my book? I have a really old cookbook here, dated back from 1942, back when there wasn't as much processed food in the grocery stores as there is today. So there's a lot of valuable uh, recipes in here of how to do things from scratch, you know, how to make your own cream of chicken soup, your own cream of mushroom soup, your own chocolate syrup. So uh, I look to it a lot to get back to the, the basics of things, to go pre-processed. All right, I need an eighth of salt, and I need my powder. And I've made this enough, you know, you can make a heaping cup of powder, it's okay. I think I got my pan too small. I should have gone for the bigger saucepan. I got a little saucepan, and it does look like I'm gonna have much room. This recipe will make about two and a fourth cup of syrup. So in my pint jar, I'm naturally going to, uh, um, I'm burning chocolate on my oven. Um, I'm going to have a little more than what will fit in my jar, but it'll be okay. Now uh, I'm adding one and, a one, one and one fourth cup of boiling water, and I just, um, you know, popped it in the microwave for a couple minutes, got it really hot. I'm going to use a whisk to stir this together. One time I, uh, I felt adventurous and, you know, felt a little moody and I wanted some dark chocolate. And I tried mixing a half a cup of, of the regular cocoa powder with a half a cup of the dark chocolate powder. Have you seen that? Uh, who makes this? Hershey. Hershey puts it out. It turned out really good. I liked it. It was it was a dark chocolate sauce, which tasted great in my coffee, tasted great on my ice cream, but the kids did not dig it. My husband was like, eh, but yeah, my kids noticed, they noticed that dark chocolate flavor, and uh, I couldn't, I had to eat it all by myself. Isn't that sad? I had to eat all that chocolate syrup all by myself. <laughs> okay, when you see the uh, chocolate syrup start to boil, I mean, I started out with medium heat, but as soon as you start to see it bubble up, go ahead and crank it down to low heat because it will want to overflow in your pan. I should have got a bigger pan. Here it is, I'm making a mistake right in front of you. I'm burning chocolate all over my stove. See, as many times as I've made this, I just brain farted and used the wrong size pan. That's, oh well. Look at that. Oh, it's going to stink too. Okay. Did you see what I did? I just took my measuring cup and I just kind of tilted it off to the side. I've got one of those pans that has the lips on it. So, uh, anyways, when you see this begin to bubble, turn it down to low heat. And then don't stir it. Just let it slowly bubble. Let it slowly boil. For five minutes and at the end of the five minutes transfer it to the jar. I almost forgot there's one other ingredient that's completely optional that you can add to the chocolate syrup after it's come to a boil turn off the heat and um, add one teaspoon of vanilla. I went ahead and added a teaspoon of vanilla and I didn't stir it because you know it's getting stirred up right here. All right I've transferred to my jar and look at that, that's going to fit in my one pint jar. Of course, if I had not um, had an overflow spill, see, I have like, that's almost a, an eighth of a cup 
of syrup that didn't make it into the jar. But that's okay. It cools and gets thick fast. See, look at that. Can you see that? That is cooling. See how long it takes to drip? It turns to thick syrup pretty quick. So, thick chocolate syrup. This one won't drop. Look at that. It's just hanging. Mmm. Yeah.